What's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the last video, we uploaded media to our project via our, ex via our external hard drive. Now, just to clear the air really fast, what I want to talk about is how to save in Final Cut Pro. This works in iMovie as well. Most programs, they have a traditional, you go over here, there's file, file, save as if you're saving it for the original time or save if it's pretty much just an update. Final Cut Pro doesn't have that. You know why? Because there is no save option. Anything you do, Final Cut saves it automatically. Anytime you cut up a clip, add something. Uh, we don't have anything in our timeline yet, but if we were to chop something up, if we were to add some Ken Burns or a zoom in or any plugin or effect we'd want to do, anytime you do that, this project saves automatically. You just close it and then you open it back up again. What I want to reiterate is kind of what we talked about in the last video. Um, what we talked about in the last video was that the way you probably would lose something in Final Cut Pro is that if you drag and drop from your desktop and then you clear your desktop and then you get all these red media, can't read media files. So that's it. It's pretty easy as that. Uh, how do you save in iMovie? I'm sorry, Final Cut Pro. Well, you don't. Anything you do, any change you make, Final Cut Pro will auto save that automatically for you. Good luck with this, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I know this was kind of a cheesy video, but I just wanted to clear the air because there is confusion with this. And uh, good luck, guys. I'll see you in the next video.